is obviously great news, but the timing is perhaps a little questionable in that the poor souls in India, in some instances, are having to burn their relatives in their back gardens. How would you respond, Secretary of State? Well, I completely agree the situation in India is heartbreaking at present, and we are also working very hard to get crucial supplies. We sent over 600 pieces of uh, oxygen equipment. We've got more on the way this week. And, of course, India gave us huge help last year when we uh, were short of products like paracetamol. The Indian government expedited delivery to the UK. So I see this as part of a real partnership between our two nations. India is the largest democracy in the world. They're a key ally of the United Kingdom. We want to help them through uh, the appalling situation they're facing with COVID at the moment. And we want to help build back Uh, the Indian economy in the same way as we want to build back our economy. And one of the investments we're announcing today, Nick, is more investment from the Serum Institute in India, the vaccine producer, into the UK in areas like research and development. So, yes, it's a very, very tragic situation in India, but what they want is they want our help with oxygen and ventilators. I've got a call later today with my Indian counterpart asking of what more we can do to help at the same time as moving forward uh, with the trade work. Because, of course, trade helps fix some of these health problems by getting the vaccines that are needed around the world, getting the uh, oxygen products that are needed, getting uh, the pharmaceutical products that are needed. So trade is part of the solution. OK. Um, how acutely short were we of paracetamol, Secretary of State? Uh, we were we were in danger of running out of supply at some point last year. When was that? Uh, I, I'd have to recall the dates, but we were quite low on supplies. And, and the why? Why, very were, helpful. why? Why was that? Why were people taking so many paracetamol? Well, what we, what we realised last year is that we were very dependent on a few critical supply chains for key goods. We are now making sure that we have those critical supply chains in place. We've done a lot of work at this under the title of Project Defend to make sure we have those supplies. But the Indian government were very helpful in making sure we retained that security of supply.